The night before my official opening, there was another huge thunderstorm. It was hard to sleep with all the wind and rain raging outside, so I lit a candle and sat staring at it. There was a draft letting itself in somewhere, which made the flame of the candle dance. It reminded me of something, but I couldn't quite put my finger on what. I suddenly felt lonely. I had worked so hard through the winter, building this place, and here I was, still alone, with no customers or staff, only a dog. And we were both slowly getting older. For the first time I realized that I might always be a castaway, cut off from the rest of humanity. Do other people exist? Or were they just notes stuck in bottles, bobbing in the waves? I longed for news from afar. How long had those bottles been bobbing about in the waves, waiting for someone like me to arrive on this island and start a restaurant? What if the people who had sent those notes were long gone and dead? Then I remembered something. God, I said aloud, I've just remembered something. I can't believe I had not thought of this before. Sitting at my feet, God wagged his tail in anticipation. Candle in hand, I walked to the cupboard in the kitchen where I had unpacked all my crockery. There on the bottom shelf lay all the crumpled up pieces of newspaper that the crockery and glasses and cups had been wrapped in inside the chest. I gathered them all together. They were yellowed by now, and they made an old rustling sound, and I carried everything back to the bar counter. I lit a fresh candle, and the first one was burning so low I had to, and then I started reading. There had been a plague, sea levels, were rising. Masked gunmen were shooting at children in schools. Everyone wore masks, not only the masked gunmen. Then there was war. First a lot of small wars, protests in the streets, banners shouting people, and then the photographs were terrifying. The headlines screamed out the tale of a planet going steadily mad. Another island. Far, far away, a small blue dot lost in space. A civilization flourishing briefly, achieving modernity in a mere hundred years, before suddenly crumbling in on itself. All that hatred. All those opinions. All the senseless debates of a species bent on self-destruction. All those little talking heads going suddenly extinct just because one of them pushed the wrong button. A mass suicide. I couldn't bear it. I fed the newspaper pages into the flame bit by bit until they had turned to ashes floating in the air, scattering on the counter. God had fallen asleep on my feet again. I blew up the candle and went to bed. <laughs>